Take a look at that. Just gorgeous. That is some work from one of the artists you are about to meet. It is just absolutely amazing. So the exhibit, this newest exhibit, you can check it all out tomorrow during November's Art Walk. It takes place in downtown Jacksonville. So joining me now with more artist Dustin Harewood and CEO of Art Republic, Jessica Santiago. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Can we talk about this piece right here over our shoulder? That's yours. I love that one. Yes. Ah, <laughs> yes. Oh, that one, humidity. That's what that one is called. I mean, look how, I mean, just, <laughs> just look at how gorgeous this is. So you guys are kind of the yin and yang of the art field. You know, you have the business, you have the artists. And we were talking about Jacksonville, such an eclectic group of artists, and it's thriving. We really do have a really special um, artist community here, and they're very passionate, and they've been working a lot on their own and really carrying so much of the weight. So that was a lot of why I started Art Republic to begin with, was to be able to add more resources and take on some of that workload for artists like Dustin. Yeah, so tell me about this event going on tomorrow night. So this is a show, Dustin, a solo show, showing all of Dustin's newest work. Um, many exciting different facets of the kind of work that he does. And so it's at the Vistar Tower. Vistar has become a tremendous partner and contributor to the local art scene. Yes. And so we, it was intentional for us to be able to hold something there to show all that they're doing. And so it will be open from 5.30 to 8 mm -hmm. during Art Walk. There's going to be music in the lobby of the Vice Star Tower, and then you'll be able to go up to the 13th floor and check out all of Dustin's latest new work. That's incredible. Dustin, it is gorgeous. There is Thank no you. doubt your work is gorgeous. <laughs> Thank but you. But it Mom. has a deeper meaning. Yes. Which I love. Explain that to me. Well, this particular series of work, so the show is called Warm Rain and Electricity, mm -hmm. and it was inspired by last summer's uh, storm season. Mm -hmm. The weather was just so temperamental. And um, I'd been inspired for a while by J.M.W. Turner. It's an old British painter who was famous for painting atmosphere and kind of nature's primordial kind of interactions with a lot of human narratives throughout history. And so with this, last year, there were just so many people posting shots of like rainbows and we were scared mm -hmm. to death of the hurricanes yeah. coming in. And, um, and the right, and things were just, storms rolling in, rolling out every day. And, I, and it's interesting how it just kind of inspired the series of works that I, that I am featuring. So as an artist, you know, a lot of times we don't get the privilege of being able to talk to the artists behind these paintings you're gonna see. If someone comes out tomorrow, and yeah. they will, <laughs> what do you what do you want them to take away from this experience? What do I want them to take away from it? Well, there are a lot of great things happening on the Jacksonville art scene. Um, we were talking earlier, a lot of young, talented artists have left the city over the years because there just wasn't a whole lot going on and there wasn't um, enough of a support system mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. I came here in 2004, mm -hmm. and I would have left myself if, if not for like falling in love with a job at FSCJ where I'd been teaching. And I just loved being there so much. I stayed. And over the course since 2004 to now, I mean, things have just been growing and growing and growing. And it's been exciting to work with Jessica because she's one of those people who's kind of providing some extra infrastructure for a lot of young, talented artists who are trying to make a go of it in Northeast Florida. To grow and make a career out of it. And this yeah. is something where you can tomorrow night support that goal. Uh, if someone wants to attend tomorrow night, uh, where do they go? What do they need to do? So the Vice Star Tower right on Laura Street. Uh, go up to the 13th floor and you'll be welcomed right into the exhibition. And you get to talk to people like you who are surrounded by these artists. And you get to talk to the artists <laughs> and really get a perspective. That is so unique. Yeah. And you also get to be part of something. Like what a lot of people don't realize is that Jacksonville 100 years ago was a thriving art and culture capital. And we had tremendous yes. uh, you know, quality in the works that we were producing and the museums. And so we've really been working to reactivate that within the community and it's happening. So to be a part of that kind of movement is what we really want people to not miss out on. And can I say, what, 37 murals, like yeah. she has <laughs> changed a lot of the landscape of the urban core. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, 
We have a lot of sleepy suburban sprawl <laughs> in Northeast Florida. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love a strip They're mall. They're missing the action. <laughs> <laughs> I love a strip mall. Uh, but, I mean, um, it'd be nice if, you know, you leave that suburbia and just yeah. come downtown. Visit some culture. We've got a lot of stuff we're cooking up down there, and we want more people to be a part of it. So. And it's family friendly. Mm -hmm. Everything's so amazing. So the Art Walk will be tomorrow night from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. You can catch Dustin's exhibit and all those murals through the end of November. We'll be back after the break.